In this video, we're gonna talk about the stimulus package and the stimulus update for August the 20th. But before we do, if this is your first time at our channel or you haven't subscribed, click on the subscribe button at the bottom. My name is Travis Sickle, Certified Financial Planner, helping you reach your financial goals. So the first update is coming from the Department of Labor on unemployment. New initial claims for unemployment have risen to 1.1 million. Now that is new claims. Total claims are at 28 million or just over 28 million. And the Trump executive order with unemployment, the additional $400, which was originally $300 coming from the federal government through FEMA and the additional $100 coming from the state. Now that was a requirement in the first part of the executive order, but it was later switched to make the $100 from the state optional. Now at this point, there are two states, South Dakota and New York, that I could find that declined the additional money. Now it doesn't make a whole lot of sense on why they declined the money. The governor from South Dakota said, Governor Nome said, quote, my administration is very grateful for the additional flexibility that this effort would have provided, but South Dakota is in the fortunate position of not needing to accept it. South Dakota's economy, having never been shut down, has recovered nearly 80% of our job losses. But what about the other 20%? Wouldn't they benefit from the additional money that the federal government is saying that they could get for basically for free? And it's great that they recovered 80% of those job losses, but the additional assistance is not going to that 80%. It's going to the 20% that are still struggling. And in New York, Governor Cuomo was quoted as saying, you cannot get water out of a stone. This is a fact and we have a $14 billion deficit and we can't pay for it. Well, what's confusing is that FEMA has said that not only will they give you the money for the $300, you don't need to put up the other $100, but they'll also are going to pay for the administrative costs or at least help supplement some of those administrative costs. Now, what they've said on their website for FEMA is they will receive an additional amount of up to 5% of the total grant award to cover their administrative costs subject to the cost share. And talking about the eligibility of when you can actually receive the payments versus actually being eligible for them, this money is retroactive. So according to FEMA, states may provide supplemental lost wage payments to eligible in individuals retroactively beginning with the week of unemployment ending August 1st, 2020, which is exactly what was in the original executive order signed by President Trump on August the 8th. It's retroactive, which coincides with the end of the additional $600 that ran out on Jul July the 31st. And the only other requirement was that you can qualify for $100 in other unemployment compensation. Some states have already implemented the additional $300 and started issuing those checks, while there are other states that are gearing up to do so, and some states will do it in the next couple of weeks. And what's been really confusing is the fact that the $1,200 stimulus check was left out of the skinny proposal and it has not been talked about since and it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense considering that President Trump tweeted last Friday to Steven Mnuchin to get ready to issue the $1,200 checks. Both Democrats and Republicans and the country want $1,200 stimulus checks. So I'm not really sure why it was left out of the skinny proposal. It just seems more frustrating than anything else that they left it out and they didn't put it in there at this point to let the American people know that they're still gonna get their stimulus checks. Now, obviously it's not done deal until it gets signed, but guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. And it does look like the Paycheck Protection Program, the PPP funding for small businesses to pay their employees and handle overhead costs is still on the table, but we didn't see anything for the idle grant or the idle loan, which really doesn't make sense because the SBA said that they were only gonna use the money to give out 1,000 times the amount of employees, up to 10,000, which I'm sure you've heard a bazillion times, but they still had money left over. So why didn't they go back and use that money to give out the grants? It really doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but at this point, it doesn't look like they're talking about the idle grants or the idle loans moving forward. But just like we saw the stimulus checks left out of the skinny bill, maybe it'll make a comeback. So anything could be a surprise at this point. And somehow the US Postal Service has taken center stage over the stimulus checks. I don't know how that's even possible. I guess it's because of the upcoming election. But here's what a press release said recently from 
Um, the Postmaster General, just reassuring everybody, the Postal Service is ready today to handle whatever volume of election mail it receives this fall. And the Postmaster General also went on to ensure everybody that nothing will change moving forward, and he did clarify it. The retail hours at postal offices will not change, mail processing equipment and blue collection boxes will remain where they are, and no mail processing facilities will be closed, and we reassert that overtime has and will continue to be approved as needed. And even with the post office moving forward with not making any changes, the House is still meeting on Saturday to vote on the $25 billion for funding the U.S. Postal Service. And the skinny bill had $10 billion allocated to also funding the post office. So apparently now that the post office has become a political puck, hopefully they can figure that out, move it aside to focus back on the stimulus, which is what everybody wants, both Democrats and Republicans. Now, I know that there are some that don't want the stimulus check, but, but it does look like there's majority support. So it sounds like they should move forward with the stimulus checks. And that is your stimulus package and your stimulus check update for August the 20th. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and leave your comments down at the bottom. Thank you.